Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and in this video we are going to be editing the background text and the background video here in the Unreal Engine hype chamber, if I just quickly quickly pause it here just to show you what I'm on about. This video here is uh, the, just the stock video of just two, two Rocket League cars, two Jaegers racing, and then we've got the text that just says Unreal three times, and Obviously, if you want to use this for, let's say, a tournament, you don't want to have this stock background video and the stock text. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can edit the text, you can change the color of it, you can just remove it if you want. I personally just prefer to remove it just because I think it looks cleaner. And then I'm also going to be showing you how to either remove this video or to change it to something something custom, something um, that maybe relates to your tournament or anything like that. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the tutorial and get straight to editing the text because that's that's definitely the easier part of this tutorial. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that in the Hype Chamber controller we have the mode selected as the matchup mode, which is the top one, just because that's the one that we're going to be editing. This also does work on other um, screens that use the background um, videos and the text. Just follow these same steps, but in that different scene. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to double click this box which shows the little preview of the matchup screen. And as you can see, the sequencer window will pop up which pretty much is kind of like a timeline. If you've used editing softwares, you'll be familiar with what a timeline is. You can kind of like drag the head and scrub along and all that type of stuff. By default, you might have the cameras folder open. If you just press this little triangle here, you can collapse it just to make things a lot more clean. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove the that text that says Unreal here. And the easiest way that I found to do that without breaking anything, because you could just go and just delete the text, but sometimes it messes up the animation and it will just keep it there. So what you need to do is you need to go down to 2D scene and you'll see here where it says text burst. Open that up and you'll get these six, I guess, text files. So three of them are solid and then three of them are outlines. The way that I found you can get rid of it here, the easiest way without breaking anything is clicking all of these individually and then here at the side where it says text, you just select it and just, just delete it. And then, yeah, you just blank it out and then you do this for each one just go down the list, so there's two, two solid, there's three, and then three solid. So now all of these are just completely blank. So even though the text files are technically there, you don't delete them, which means that if you want to, I don't know, if you want to like use them later on for a different project or something, if you want to keep the same project file and just edit it, you can do that instead of deleting it and then having to get a whole new different project file. Then you just press the save button here, close out of it, go back up to the top here, go back up to the top to click on the Hype Chamber controller, and if you press play graphic now, the graphic will play, but the text saying Unreal is now disappeared. So now that I've shown you how to remove the text, I'm now going to show you, let's say if you want to edit the text, so it says something else instead. It's quite self-explanatory, I mean, I showed you, if you want to remove it, you just select it and then delete it, and then the text goes away. So if you want to change it, you just select it, and then just type in what you want the text to be. So I'm just going to change them all to tutorial, I'm going to just go down the list, just copy and pasting the word tutorial instead of unreal. If I actually do this on my other monitor, then you'll be able to see it changing in real time. Yeah, I'm literally just clicking down the list and then changing it from Unreal to Tutorial. And just like that, the text has now been edited so it says Tutorial instead of Unreal. And now the final step for editing the text here is if you want to change the color of it, it is also quite simple. Just go down and select one of the text files and here you will see Front Material. Click on that. And this window will open up. Once this comes up, you need to uncheck where it says palette one accent. And you wanna uncheck where it says use brand colors. And now you'll get a new option which says manual color override. For some reason, it says that it's already on, but the box to 
select which color you want to use isn't there. So you need to uncheck the box and then check the box again. And then the color will come up. I don't know why it does it, but it just seems to be a bit buggy right now. It might be fixed by the time you're watching this video, but uh, yeah, that's a bug currently with the, uh, with the software. Anyway, now you can click where it says color and you can pick any color. So let's say I want to go for like a, uh, a nice shade of light blue here and just press OK. And as you can see, it updates in real time. So if we just drag this away, this is now light blue. So if I want to do like a, like a purple instead, this is more of a pink, but yeah, you can see it changes here. You can also change the brightness and saturation. So if you want to make it black instead, I think black looks quite cool. So um, yeah, there is black. And that concludes the part of the video which is dedicated to editing the text in the background. Like I said, this works on every scene that has the background video and the text. And now we have black text in the background. Just for this next section of the tutorial, I am going to remove the text. So I'm just going to go out and blank all of these, like I said earlier, just so then we can focus on the background video a bit easier. All right, so this next section of the tutorial is going to be dedicated towards changing this background video that you can see here. This is also quite simple, but it just requires an external program. Pretty much any editing software works, and I'm assuming if you're going to be editing the hype chamber, you already have access to an editing software. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to navigate to the content folder, which is literally just by clicking this button that says content here. I'm already in it, so nothing will change at my end. And then you'll see a folder in here which says movies. What you want to do here is you want to right click it and go to show in Explorer and Windows Explorer will pop up inside of the movies folder. The next thing you need to do is you need to click on the int underscore matchup folder or you can click on the fs open folder. It depends on which one you're editing. I am editing the matchup mode. There's also the fs open one here which uses a background video but I'm using the matchup one. So click on that and as you can see you'll see a bunch of different PNG files. You'll see 180 to be exact which is exactly 3 seconds at 60 frames per second. So this is, if I just click on this and go through, this is each frame of a 60 FPS video, which is three seconds long. Now, a lot of you guys might already know where we're going here, but we pretty much want to create our own video and make sure that it's three seconds long and export it using just PNG images. And then we will take those PNG images and replace these ones with the ones that we created. Obviously, we'd have to still use the same naming scheme. So int underscore matchup underscore intro anim or it would be fs underscore open underscore intro anim and then the numbers, obviously. So this is where you guys have a lot of options, obviously, what you want to be in the background. It can be anything you want. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a very, very quick animation. Obviously, it only has to be three seconds long and it only can be three seconds long. If you go any longer, then it won't work. But I'm just going to quickly hop into After Effects and create a quick little animation, which is going to go in the background here. All right, so I've just made a really, really basic animation. Obviously, you guys can do whatever you want. You can have an actual video. You can have an in real life video. You could just have any type of video as long as it's three seconds long, 1080p, 60 FPS. So I've literally just animated that tutorial logo that I made a while ago. One of the big reasons that I really, really like using the Adobe Suite for this type of project is because you can actually export straight into a PNG from here. So if you just go to PNG sequence, and then you can also specify for it to add the little numbers at the end here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the name of one of these uh, one of these pictures. I'm just going to copy the first one and I'm going to go to output two. I'm going to head into the project and I'm just going to make a new folder, which is just called new video. You can call it whatever you want. Open it up. And as you can see, it's already done a little pre suggestion, which is comp one underscore and then hashtags. I'm going to copy in the new name and I'm just going to replace where it has comp one. And it'll pretty much look at something like this. So the hashtags us is where the numbers are going to be. So if you want to just have like three digits, maybe you can have it like this. But, but because it's using four digits here, we are going to have four digits in our name. 
Then you just press save, press render. Obviously this tutorial is only for if you're using After Effects, but I think it's just really, really easy to use After Effects if you have it. If you don't have it, you, I'm not gonna say that you can get it um, without buying it, but uh, that's definitely a possibility if, if you're willing to go down that route. So now we've got our video exported. We can see it in our folder here, new video. And as you can see, it's in the exact same um, naming format as the other video. I'll just do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. As you can see, it's using the exact same name format and it's the exact same amount of images, but it is just our images instead. And all you need to do now is just Control A to select all of them, delete, and then Control A to select all of these ones, and then move it over into the empty folder. Then head back into Unreal Engine and you'll see in the bottom it will say 180 changes to source content files have been detected. Would you like to import them? And then it's very, very important that you press import because this will means that if you don't press import, then it will just keep this video in there. But if you press import, then, um, then it will swap out all of the different PNGs and it will import your new video. It might take a minute because it's processing 180 files as you can tell. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a second and then I'll come back when it is uh, processed. Now you will notice that if you press play, it still won't be updated. It will still have the old video. All you need to do is just save and then restart Unreal Engine and it will be updated. All right, so I have just restarted Unreal Engine. Now if we go back into the matchup screen, press play. And as you can see, it has updated. It did freeze for a second, so I got a bit worried, but it has updated. Yeah, it's a lot easier if I show you with the sequence that it has updated now. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, then make sure to hit like and get subscribed. And uh, I will hopefully be uploading the next Unreal Engine tutorial soon. So um, yeah, I'll see you then.